goes on Samantha aka Lovely Symbols Life and I'm back with another video okay make sure you like comment subscribe okay subscribe it takes like less than 0.5 seconds and it's free okay okay um, and I'm thankful for everyone that has subscribed but you know if you're viewing my videos go ahead and subscribe you know it won't hurt, it won't hurt you to Quick little tap tap. Okay, so, uh, yeah. As you see by the title, I'm going to be doing another story time. Uh, usually when you guys see me right here, this is like my story time chair. So, yeah. I had wanted to do this story time uh, probably a few weeks ago. I remember thinking about it. But I ended up doing another story time. But now it's time for this story time, okay? And it is great. Cray, okay, like why, 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 Samantha, why, okay. So while I tell this uh, story time, I'm also going to finally be gripping open uh, the gummy sushi soft assorted candy mix gummy sushi, and it's so cute to me. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, let me uh crack these suckers open. So yes, I ordered these uh this off Amazon. It's like a little sushi tray. Okay, and I'll give you guys like a up close picture somewhere up in here as well. Yeah. So um while I'm cracking this open, you guys can scroll down and hit that subscribe button and give my video a thumbs up. I'm watching this. The green is the edamame. The this is the it's supposed to be the California roll. You know, like all the different types of sushi. They they named it. Okay, okay, real cute there. See, what, and look, look at the wasabi. It has a little thing for the wasabis, little candies. I live for like little things like this. Oh, and jizzle. That's so cute. I just want to look at it. Like, guys, that is so adorable to me. They showed out with the wasabi. Like, you guys can see that. Okay. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's talk about this story time. So we're going to rewind. I'm going to start with the edamame, okay, y'all? We're going to rewind back to 2009, about 2009, yeah, okay, so back in my stripper days, of course, basically my whole 20s were like, I was a stripper, off and on, off and on. The other moment is cool with suicide. But, um, I'm gonna just cut straight to like the night that I started work that night at a strip club. So, went to work, regular old night. But, okay, back then, I used to take pills. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, people be doing what they gotta do to be at work, to have a good time at the strip club. You know, like some girls drink, you know, whatever. But anyway, I was taking those Xanax bars. And if anybody my age, you know, like ever dabbled with like pills, like, um, uh, I guess like ecstasy pills and um, Xanax bars, like back from like 04, to like 2010 ish. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I just remember a certain period where ecstasy and uh, Xanax, they call them bars, Xanax bars, little white bars were like the thing, you know, like it was like the, the thing, like, if, you know, like a party, something to enhance yourself when you party, 
You know what I'm saying? But back then, the manufacturers of those things were much stronger. Okay? But what I've heard and, like, asked around about, like, you know, like, Molly and stuff, whatever, all that stuff that they have out these days, um, the people that have tried them these days say that it's nothing like back in the day. Because, yeah, the things that uh, these Xanax bars had me doing, it was not normal. They were, like, they were, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I've heard other people's stories uh, from when they were on, like, Xanax bars. Like, they make you forget stuff and, like, they make you feel, um, like, like, you don't care. Like, you care way too less. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, uh-uh. I could, just the thought of them, like, I wouldn't, I couldn't, I, no, no. I, no. I couldn't take one now. Like, no. Heck no. And they were like, it's like they would have you feeling like, um, like relaxed, super relaxed and just like no nerves. Like it would take all your, it's an anxiety um, medication. So it would take all your anxiety away. But while it does that, it would make you feel more like brave and like crazy when you drink on them. You know, when you mix alcohol with anything, nine times out of 10, it's just going to have you different. It's going to make you different. It's going to make you real, real different if you mix alcohol and pills. Like, it's just a recipe for disaster, basically. So, back then, I used to pop those pills at work, right? Um, yeah, everybody was popping them, you know? Like, pop a Xanax, like, relax your nerves, you know, eat up some stuff and pass out, you know, sleep. Like, they would make you sleep. Like, oh, my God. Like, oh. The, the sedation of them was so strong back then. So, you get the point. Okay, you get the point. I popped a Xanax bar. It's probably like two or three. I don't know exactly how many. But I had to have popped a lot for me to do what I did. Like, I still to this day cannot believe I did what I did. So, y'all are like, what the fuck? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what I did. The title tells y'all, but I'm just giving y'all the details. Of what I did. All right, let me try a. I don't know. I'm just gonna try them all. This one's cute. It has little like the green apple uh, uh, gummy rings with a gummy bear in the middle. So anyway, okay. I was a pill popping stripper one night at the strip club. Was probably having a damn good night. You know, probably made a whole bunch of money, you know, not giving a damn about nothing in the world, high on those bars, and I'm sure I was drinking with them. I know I was like a little alky back then, like, you know, it was all of us would, you know, take a shot before we get on, you know, we were just, it's like a party up in there, like you're partying at work every night, so... This one night, I decide, that's good. So this one night, I decide, no nails, no nails tonight, you guys. So I decided it was a good idea to go hang out after work with one of the other dancers and this guy. I don't know if it was her boyfriend or what. I don't know. But it was a common thing for me to, you know, maybe go to an after spot after work and hang out or um, go to like a little pool hall or something like it wasn't you know like going somewhere after work to party more or just hang out back then like wasn't it wasn't uncommon so that night I decided to take off with this guy and the guy was the um, uh, the peel, you know, peel guy. He was he was the peel guy. You know what I'm saying? A human one probably sold me all those pills that had me jumping out of cars. But anyway, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't like that marshmallow. No. So, ooh, y'all. These stories, these stripper stories, I got, I got so many of that. Um, mm-mm. No, that's good. But it's 
hard for me to tell this story with this this gummy. But that was actually really good. Mm. Yeah, girl. Anyway, so I take off with another dancer and this guy that was, you know, the, the peel man. And we take off down the interstate. The, high, uh, the club that I was working at that night was right off the interstate. And I think we were going, we were going towards like the opposite way of my home, basically, of where I was supposed to go. I want to say probably, if you live in Arkansas, then you'll know the town that I'm talking about. I think we're going to Russellville. I remember now. Now, also, another thing about those Xanax bars, they will make you lose your memory. They make you lose your memory. Like, anyway, your memory will come back over time. Like, it's weird. It's so weird. Like, they, those things should be taken off the market, honestly. Unless you're just like, you know, a PTSD. The, like veteran like you have real trauma that like you need to be like you know sedated and just out of it sometime or I don't know like severe on insomnia because they make you sleep like you'll sleep for like 72 hours just eat and sleep if you I don't know but okay so out of nowhere the cops get behind us we're on the interstate uh, what, 70, 70 miles per hour, uh, we were all drunk and on these, uh, pills, so probably speeding, that's why the cop got behind us, I'm sure, I'm in the back seat, the, uh, the, the co co-stripper girl I was hanging out with was in the passenger seat, and then the pill man was in the driver's seat, um, woof, it's all coming back, like, I know the story, but actually telling you guys, like, I can still picture myself when I was like, let me out, let me out. So the police get behind us and he wouldn't pull over. He wouldn't pull over. Well, you know, apparently, you know, him being who he was, he probably had a lot of, you know, a lot of those pills on him. <laughs> so he wouldn't pull over. Like I noticed like he was, I was in a, the beginning of a high speed chase. Like, no dude, you gotta pull over. Like, you got to pull over and, like, handle this situation. Like, whether you have drugs or not, like, going on a high-speed chase, is you're going to be in jail forever. Like, you're only going to make it worse because you're going to end up getting caught. So just, you know, my, I was still there, apparently, because I knew that this ain't right. This isn't right. You need to pull over. And, you know, you need to pull over when the cops get behind you. You just need to pull over. That's that, that's what that, that's the law. That's what you should do. And apparently no amount of pills or alcohol altered that. You know, I still knew right from wrong, apparently. So, um, ooh, let me try one of these. He wasn't pulling over. He was not pulling over. And I told him, like, no, dude, you got to let me out. Let, let me out. I remember being like, oh, hell no. You're not going to have me on a uh, high-speed freaking police chase. You know, what the? Let me out, you know? I can't um, curse. I don't want to wake my kid up. I don't want to curse too loud. But I remember freaking out, you guys. Like, oh, heck no. Like, like I can see myself. I was, like, pushing his shoulder. I'm in the back like, dude, pull over, pull over, or let me out. Y'all need to let me out. So... On those bars, I just felt grave. You know, I'm telling you, just pull over some and slow down, and I'm jumping the fuck out. Y'all can go. I don't want to go to a speed police chase. Like, apprehend me. Like, I, no. Because think about it. Either way, you're going to get caught. Like, a high speed chase is either going to, like, it's going to put your life in danger even more. And it's going to make you be in more trouble because you are going to get caught. So why not just like surrender? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but he was trying to take my life. And I wouldn't let it happen. Like, I'm going to take my own life. <laughs> if I, I would take 
live my own life tonight. You know, if it's gonna happen. But yeah, so I remember being so adamant, like, dude, pull over. Okay. Mind you, she's in the front seat. So I go on the side and uh pull the uh lever to let her seat up and just pushed her forward and was like reaching over. I just like bombarded her and like got the door open. And oh that one was good. What was that? Oh, these are good. I don't know what they are, but they're really good. Really, really good. Okay, so I reach over her and I'm like, dude, just pull like to so I remember saying, dude, just pull over to the shoulder some and I'm gonna jump out. And y'all y'all can go do whatever the fuck y'all wanna do. And so he did. And mind you, I I mean, we were still going fast, even when he slowed down. Like, he didn't slow down to, like, two miles per hour. It was, like, probably, like, 20 or 30 miles per hour. I don't know. It was really fast. <laughs> and I just remember, like, tucking and rolling. Oh, yep. I left my stripper bag. Oh, and I was mad about that when I came to... Like, where's my stripper bag? All my money. <laughs> but I'm sure, you know, the cops are, you know, yeah, they confiscated all that and took it. But anyway, so I tucked and rolled, y'all. I tucked and rolled into that ditch. Like, I remember looking down and seeing, like, the hot, the, seeing the ground and I took them roll. I just remember jumping, like, just. I, and then I woke up in the drunk tank. I woke up in the drunk tank. I remember one time, like, waking up during, like, like it was real hazy while I was in the uh, drunk tank or the holding cell or whatever. And I just saw, like, one, like, little white girl come in. And then I. Just remember waking back up all the way when they called me out the next morning. Oh my God. So apparently, um, my younger twenties was a whole suicide, a whole suicide mission because I was a cray cray. Like it's, it's yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. He definitely watches over babies and fools. Cause I was such a fool. Who does that? Who does that? Jump out of a moving car on the interstate during a high speed police chase, high on pills. Uh, the what? 2009 me, apparently. Okay. So, all right. Well, I'm fussing at my old self. <laughs> I'm fussing at my old self like, bitch, the fuck was you thinking? I wasn't, right? Those pills were thinking for me. So I took the roll, woke up in the drug tank, and I guess it was like the lieutenant or the sergeant or like, I don't know, he just gave me like one of the higher leadership roles at that, you know, jailhouse. He gave me those, that vibe. <laughs> um, my whole right side of my body was like scathed uh, or like you know like road burn or apparently yeah fucking road burn um yeah i was jacked up like what the hell happened to me like i remembered but i didn't remember so yeah i was i was jacked up like physically like it was bad. It was bad. Like, I'm surprised they didn't take me to the hospital, but I guess they saw, like, I didn't have any broken bones or anything, so they just sat me in the drunk tank until I came to. And he, uh, the lieutenant, sergeant, whatever, um, called my name and took me into his office. Uh, he was behind a desk, and I was sitting there like, Where's my stripper bag? You know, that's all I care about. Where's my money? You know, I'm like, bitch. First of all, you almost died. And you woke up in a jail cell. And all you're worried about is your stripper bag and your money? Get it together. 
So, he just sitting back, like, you know, with his pen, like, so why did you jump out the car last night? <laughs> I said, they wouldn't pull over. I didn't want to be in a high-speed chase. Now, in hindsight, I don't know, this might be dry snitching, I feel like. But I don't give a damn. Mm-mm. They went to jail for a long time, and guess who didn't? Me. Because I didn't want to be on that high-speed chase. I wanted him to pull over. And that man could tell, like, I was being honest. I was like, I want him to pull over and, like, or y'all handle us, you know, properly and not have to be, like, you know, chased down. Like, oh, like I don't know. We were all so messed up, like. Looking back, the best thing I could have done was jumped out of that car and got away from those people, you know. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, he's like, why'd you um, jump out of the car last night? Um, it's amazing you're even alive right now uh, at the rate of speed y'all were going. Um, yeah, we found you in a ditch, curled up in a ditch. We had to, like, look for you after we saw, like, something come out the car. And I was just like, you know, all I remember telling him was like, I didn't, I was trying to tell them to pull over because it wasn't right to, you know, to go on a high speed police chase. <laughs> oh God. I just remember like crying and telling him like, what my, you know, I'm crippled on this side, like in pain and like still drunk and messed up from the night before. Like, like, I don't know. I just remember feeling like, how did I get here? How did we get here, Samantha? So, he could tell I was being honest. You know, like, he could tell I was being honest. Because he was like, all right. You know, well, I'm just glad you're okay. And, you know, like I said, once again, you know, we're in Arkansas when this happened. So, it's a country white man. You know, southern country small town. I think we were in like uh, like Menifee coming through like Menifee or Plummerville if you're from Arkansas you know these little towns I'm talking about because <clears throat> I was on my way to Russellville so you know it's a little small town cop or no the interstate so what the uh, the sheriff I think they're on yeah they're on the interstate anyway so yeah I jumped out of that sucker. I said, oh, no. Mm -mm. No, y'all are not about to have me out here doing, like, gangster shit. Like, I, that's not me. I'm just, like, a little stripper chick that's trying to, like, hang out after work and, like, have a couple more drinks or something, you know? Like, I didn't ask for all that, you know? <laughs> like, hold up. <clears throat> oh, like, if you have drugs on you, dude, like, they're going to find them. But, oh, okay, okay, okay. He was trying to throw them out the window while he was, like, um, while he was fleeing. He was trying to, like, throw some of the pills and stuff out the window. I do remember that now. It's like bits and pieces are coming back to me. I was still like, no, no, let me out. Let, let me out. How I'm really saying it right now, take that up, like, 20 notches of just like berserk like let me out like no but yeah i could have been dead like who mm -mm. just the thought that i did that like me i did that and i'm sitting here alive like girl but yeah but she made it through she made it through and the cops let me go the next day and you better guess what I did when I went back to work. Um, shit, I think I went back to work like the next night. <laughs> no, I no, I could probably did because I was all like jacked up. But as soon as I did, or when I got to a phone, I remember like calling around looking for that girl and that guy. Like, and I had they had released me. Like, do y'all have my stripper bag? You know, I wanted my stripper bag and my money. Like, I do remember. <laughs> remember like 
Yeah, my priorities were a little fucked up. But they ended up giving me my bag. She said she found it in the back of his uh, car. It was only like a few outfits. Like, I just had to start over on my stripper bag after that happened. Um, yeah, so your girl been jumping out cars and shit, you know, doing stunts, you know what I'm saying? She was stunting on. But you know. Oh, okay, wait, I'm gonna eat the wasabi, guys. While I have you here. These little stringy. Isn't it so cute how they like imitated a real sushi plate? Yeah. So, yeah, that's all she got for this story time, guys. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. This wasabi is delicious. <laughs> Comment down below some video ideas. I have some new content coming up um, that I've been working on and kind of, you know, I want to steer my channel in kind of a different direction, if you will. I mean, still, you know, all the stuff that I do because my channel, I, I don't want to just focus on one thing. You know, they have like the beauty channels, you know, some people have like their, their thing, but you know, like, I'm a bunch of everything, you know, so I'm going to do a bunch of everything, you know, that's what works for me. I'm not like a beauty guru that just does beauty videos. I'm not just a, a what do they call it? A mukbanger, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got all kind of stuff going on over here. Like, I'm not all kind of stuff. Like, that would be so hard for me to just make my channel about one thing, you know? I don't, I don't think I can do it. I can't. I can't, apparently. So, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Give this video and all my videos a thumbs up, guys. And make sure you guys subscribe, dude. For real. If you want to, you know, do a good deed today, I want to do something nice. You can do that. That'll be your good deed. Subscribe to my channel. And, like, helping me out. Oh, I'm on the road to 3K. Slowly but surely, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So, okay, well, no, I jumped out of a moving car during a high-speed police chase. You know, walked out of my mind. Could have been dead. <laughs> That's what happened. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that I lived. I live to be able to talk about it and laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? So, anybody out there thinking about jumping out of a car during a high speed chase, um, you know, I'm actually being real. You might want to go ahead and do what I did because they had to do a lot of jail time. I didn't. All right, guys, that is a wrap to this story time. I hope you enjoy. Don't jump out of cars. Um, the gummy sushi, it was, it was, uh, it's some more pieces in here that I'm going to nibble on. Let's just say that. But overall, I just thought it was the cutest little thing I ever did see. Yes. So, um, yeah. And I guess I will see you all next video because surely you're going to subscribe and come on back. And also turn on your post notifications, the little bell under uh, the subscribe button. And it lets you know when I post all my videos. It lets you know first when I post a video. Um, yes, uh, be good, be safe. Don't jump out of cars. Um, stay healthy. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And I love you all. Bye!